So I've got this replica Eames chair. If you can see, this part cracked off. I attempted to glue it back together. I made a new plywood piece in here to kind of strengthen the joint. It's pretty strong, but I'm worried that it's not strong enough to actually be put back together completely. So I'm going to attempt to fiberglass this side and this side to give it some added strength. Since I ordered some epoxy, I looked for total boat epoxy here, but I couldn't find it. So I got the next best thing, Mr. Boat epoxy. I'm gonna mix up some, some epoxy here and I'm going to lay my fiberglass on and paint it and go from there and see how this works. You know what? I'm gonna put on some gloves. Wish me luck. So I came out this morning to check on the, the fiberglassing. It wasn't 100% dry. They tried to sand some of it off, you can see. Smooth it out so it wasn't quite all the way dry yet. So I stuck it in front of the heater because it's still a tad bit chilly out here. It was nicer yesterday, but I don't think the weather is cooperating completely yet. I dry fit it together because I wanted to realign the brackets right here. You can see got glue there. I glued these ones in yesterday. The armrest, which is what this is, it's attached and that's what holds the whole back part on. So I glued them in on the base piece, put the armrest in, and then attached the pads to the uh, armrest again, and then put the back shell on to make sure that it lined up correctly. So you can see that I have the clamps here. This side clamped on really nicely, but this side, because it was broken, my repair job sprung, sprung the joint a bit. So I had to use some big, big clamps on it and, and uh, a call here to pull it in and hopefully when I take those off that that glue is strong enough to hold it all together. I decided to give the inner shell just a coat of black spray paint. When the cushions get put back on which are right there, there'll be no like contrast between the white plywood and the black cushion. So next morning we will unclamp the glued brackets see if they worked one two that one looks pretty good these ones I'm not too not as worried about because the, the joint was really tight it was this one over there I was a bit worried about because that's where the repair is. Looks good. So uh, I've got some walnut veneer here. So I'll take this and I will lay it out and cut it and stick it. This is a uh, pre or pressure sensitive veneer or pressure sensitive application on the first forgot what they called it but basically it's a big wooden sticker
Not bad. I'm pretty happy. Reveneered, or I should say, veneered. Uh, man, they look so good. I'm so happy by that. So I put it back together. I couldn't help myself. It looks really, really good. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, it's broken already. times so what have I learned that failure happens the good thing that I learned here is that the failure wasn't the joint that I repaired uh, I'm pretty happy about that right here is where the crack piece was this piece was broken right there I repaired that that held brilliantly oh. right here you can see both brackets broke right off so you know you win some you lose some it's a learning process each time and uh i'm sad that i don't get to have this chair in my house i'll keep the ottoman though the ottoman's still pretty cool